Welcome to Life as Usual, a video blog dedicated to making you a more impactful leader through the ideas of self-awareness, execution, and direction. Today, I'm going to talk about failure and how you can't let it be the stopping point for you and your habits. As a matter of fact, it's not the end, it just might be the beginning. Learning new habits, especially leadership habits, can be frustrating. The reason why they're frustrating is generally they're on the other side of what people tell you to do. People always want you to watch new shows. That's not difficult. But if people ask you to read a book a week or to write a thank you note or to get up and talk to a group of strangers once a month, those things are hard. They require grit because they're going against the grain. Oftentimes, the minute you miss one or two of those days, you stop completely. But I want you to know, failure is a part of the game. A lot of your worth as a leader isn't tied to how many times you make a good habit stick. It's really based in how many times you take that habit that you failed at and give it another shot, especially if you know it's good for you. Why is time on my side even though I feel like I'm failing? Well, time is on your side because for most things, we can be pretty sure we're not going to leave tomorrow. And the fact that you're trying to build a habit is going to feed you in dividends later. So time is on your side. And whether that's tomorrow where that habit becomes consistent or it's a year from now when that habit becomes consistent, it's okay. It's going to pay off for a very long time. So keep at it. What happens when you fail? Well, when you fail, one, recognize that everybody fails. I fail a lot. Matter of fact, with the blog, it was almost four years of failure before I consistently built that practice. Two, forgive yourself. You have to spend some time forgiving yourself for making a mistake or not making that deadline. Sometimes things happen. Life happens and you weren't prepared for it. It's okay. You can come back to the habit when things are ready. But for, for now, in the moment, forgive yourself. Because if you don't forgive yourself, you're going to carry that baggage and it's not going to help you make the impactful creations that you're meant to make. How do you get the habit on track after you fail? You get the habit back on track after you fail by just getting back into the routine you had before. Most times, if it was writing every day at nine o'clock and you, you forgot that day, just get up the next day, go back to the desk at nine o'clock and proceed as if you didn't miss the day. Sure, you're starting to streak over, but that doesn't mean what you were doing before is bad. As a matter of fact, it's probably good. So keep at it. How do you understand this through the lens of self-awareness, execution, and direction? Self-awareness, you have to be aware of the power of habit and also of the power of failure. In another video, I'll talk about the power of habit. So take a look at that, it's gonna be in the description. But failure is extremely powerful. Failure is the thing our brain picks out. In, in a sea of success, we'll see the one failure. If you ever wanted to make a needle in a haystack visible, just make it a personal failure. You'll find it every time. Execute. How do you execute on this knowing that you'll find that needle in the haystack? Well, first is meditation. I'm a big fan of meditation because when you meditate, you give yourself the space to detach from those feelings. Look at them from a lens of somewhat of a bit of objectivity and come back. One thing I often find is it's not the end of the world when I do it. How do you do that? Very simple. If you have a smartphone, there are three apps that you can use. One is called Calm, another is called Headspace, and the last one, which is free, is called Inside Timer. It's funny, I'm asking you to do a habit around the habit of failure, but in the moment, whenever you fail to do something and you realize you forgot, just take out that and schedule a time for you to sit down and, and meditate for a bit. It doesn't have to be long, five to 10 minutes. Just enough for you to get back on track to realize, hey, it's not the end of the world. 
And once you do that, get back on the horse the next day. That's it. Direction. In terms of direction, and the story you tell yourself, is you have to understand that your narrative to yourself and to your team and the people around you is going to be covered in confirmation bias. It's going to be covered in excuses. Don't go that way. And also, don't go the way of beating yourself up and say you're not worth it. They're both different sides of the same coin. It can either make the team do better, take failure and use it as a launching pad, or take failure and use it as an excuse to stop. You don't want people to take it as an excuse to stop. So in your case, you damn well better not. Everyone's looking at you. So be the example they deserve. So in terms of self-awareness, make sure you remember the power of failure and habit. Two, execute, forgive yourself, meditate, and get back on the horse immediately. Three, pay attention to the narratives that you use because the narratives will be the difference between continuing to grow and then stopping. Stopping is not an option. In the description box, you'll find a bunch of books that talk about the research, some exercises, and a lot more deep dive information that I can't get to in this video. They've helped me clear my thinking out on this topic and helped me start a conversation with you. Check them out. This isn't a one-way conversation, nor is it a two-way conversation. Your thoughts on this topic are very important, especially when it comes to habits, because we all have different habits and we all have different points of view to where we're going. This is a tribe of leaders in the Life as Usual community. And for us to get the most out of the knowledge of each other, we have to talk. So spend some time, get in the comment section, and mix it up with the rest of us. We're waiting on you.